Hey guys, this is Jadero, and today's tutorial is on my very own design that I call the Famiglia bracelet, which is family in Italian. Um, I had gone on a weekend trip up northern Michigan where I have aunts and uncles, and on my way back, this came off my loom in about 10 minutes. I had such a good time, so big shout out to my aunt Melva and Uncle Denny for showing my family and I such a beautiful weekend. So it is one, two, three, four, five, on a six pin uh, setup, and this is only done on one loom. This is the first one I made. Nope, actually, this is the first one I made, and it's yucky to me. <laughs> um, it's done with all silicone bands. I didn't even care to take the time to fix them up, but that was my first one that came off the loom. And then that was the second one I made. And then I wanted to try to put a bead in between where you have this wrap band right there. Um, I think it would have been successful if I used a smaller bead and not a white band. So that's a good thing to, to try. You see that's the bead right there. So then after you have the two bands on your loom, you would take your threading tool and then place this on the two beads, which I'll show you where. So this is with all silicone bands pretty much as well. And these are two little samples. Um, and I wanted to show you, it works best in my opinion, the Ellie's look the best. It's nice and tight because they're not stretchy, stretchy bands. Um, this has some opaque and some, or some 600 pack and some LE. But if you notice in the center, these can become hearts. Okay, so these bands that are right here, I made um, glitter white, so they're thin. So if you make them thin, then it makes these bands here stick out. And then if you take that wrap band and push it up towards the center of those top of those two bands, they're hearts. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this one I just did in the, ugh, these god awful mixed packs, which I cannot stand mixed packs because I have to root, I would pay $10,000 to somebody to give us packs of bands that we do not have to root through for colors, but it has that this is the majestic dark green, and then that's like the glitter green, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, <laughs> I'm not happy. I don't like to touch my bands when they're not. It's like I, I feel like a little kid that I just throw my bands in a bag. All right, so this is your setup. Your first, third, fourth, and sixth pin bar are at one length. So your second and fifth are just one peg up. Okay, um, I've only done this on one uh, loom, so I'm going to try to do it um, on one and three fourths because this one here, I don't believe I, uh, we would need a whole two looms. Um, but I guess it's going to depend on what types of bands you use. This one is a little larger, and that's done in all silicones. So let's play and see what we come up with. So I've been battling my brain, and big shout outs to. Um, a lot of my color inspiration friends on Instagram, uh, Adele and Five Kids Cause Chaos, and I've asked several questions about colors. I wanted to make a nice color rendition. Well, guess what? I couldn't because these bands do not come in a pack where there's enough to do two looms in length. So. Here we go. My border color I'm going to make in white for the pearl. Okay, so we're just going to put a band here and that will be for close up. And then we're going to take it out like that. So these are the LE pearl white, I believe. At least I didn't have to undo this pack. Okay, we take that out like that. And then 
down this all depends on color I'm like a color nut because I feel like I'm color blind I am so I can look at anything and bling it but I can't do color so oops you want to take one more input of your border color straight forward okay now we need to place a band here and so if you can see in this one I'm using the same white as I did in this one here now out of that majestic pack that's that light purple and then this band here is going to be the straight band and that is that regular dark purple that we have in LE okay so I'm white this dark purple I'm making that majestic blue color and then I'm going to use um, this glitter blue as my other color. So we want to take a band going down like that and then a band going up like that. Okay? And then I want to take another one of this because I want to use those as all my straight bands. And then we want to continue with our border band going straight. And then we go back to our secondary color, go from this peg and go down, and then from this peg go out. And then we want to go straight forward. So you're making pretty much like a half starburst. Go forward, forward, and then we want to go diagonally down, diagonally up, and then again forward forward diagonally down diagonally up okay so let me start on this side over here so it's pretty important that we place it in this kind of order so that way when we go to loom it it works out. So we place that one dark band going straight and then from that peg we want to go diagonally down to the right then diagonally up to the right. And then here comes our two straight bands. So that straight dark blue and then my border color straight. And then I want to go back to my sweets and then I go diagonally down, diagonally up. And then there goes my forward band, forward band. And then I want to go diagonally down. So we're just making these little V's pointing to the right. Okay. That shouldn't be too difficult. Just remember that you make your V and then you take both bars, get a band going straight. And to me, that's when I begin my next pattern. And then a V and then straight like that. Okay. So let's continue that all the way up. And I'm going to say, hmm, two, three, four. let's stop at this peg here. That's my choice, okay? I Like I said, I haven't done this in a full wrap yet. So if you think that that might work there for you, Go ahead, uh, I'd rather add a couple for a single chain than it be too big. So we'll go ahead and we'll finish up both sides all the way up to that end point and I'll meet you up there for close. Okay, so we are up to the top of our loom. And this band right here I put as my holder. Okay, so this is where we're gonna end up. We're only going to put a band here, so first, Okay, we just did our diagonal band. Is that a sweets? Yep. We just did our two diagonals. Okay, 
And then we want to do our next step, which is bringing a band straight forward. Okay, and then we want to take our border band and just place that one on top like that. Okay, so we're not going to do that just yet. So that's how we're going to close up our sides. Okay, so then we come down and now it's time to do the center part. So for the center, I don't know if I should, well, I guess I'm going to I'm going to try to do gold. Okay? So to start the center, you just take any two bands going straight forward. Okay, so in my center, I used gold as well. And then for the next three bands that I place, they're going to be these white bands. Okay, so we're going to take a band first coming out from the sides like that. And then you finish with one in the center. So then you repeat and take a band going forward. And then you take and you always do your side bands first, and then you finish going across in the center. That's it. So we go forward, forward, side, side, straight. So forward, forward, down to the side, down to the side, and then straight. Super easy once we get it. Straight, straight, side, side, across the front. Okay, so we're just going to continue that once again up to the top of our loom. Okay, so let's finish that all the way up and then we'll meet, I'll meet you up at the end for um, how to close it up. Okay, so we are at the end and you can see right here, this is where our sides come in. So we want to go ahead and place two more bands going straight forward, but instead of adding, oh no, we are going to add the white bands. If you did a different color here, you just want to continue up with your border color, but mine is white, so it will match. And then you want to take one more band and make a cap band and place it across the two pegs there. So you can turn your loom around and this is what it should look like. And we are now ready for looping. So as usual, whatever you put on the loom first is what we're going to loom last. What we put on just now will be loomed first. Okay, so we want to start here in these two center pegs. So we're going to loom the whole center up first, then we come and do the sides. So we want to come into the center left and take the border band over, go into the center right, take the border band over, and then go back into the center left, take this band straight back to itself, this one straight back to itself. Okay, now we have the next band it's the horizontal band that's going across. We want to take the right side, place it on the left peg, then go down inside and grab the other end of that band. It's the same exact band we just used. And we're just crisscrossing it like that. Okay? And if any of you are wondering, or if you're adding bling, I'm sorry, I so should have said this up front, the bottom side is the front. So this side that we're looming here, this is the back of the bracelet. And how you can tell is because this has a crisscross. And if you look at the back of my bracelet, 
it's the crisscross. So this is how it's loomed. We pull it off, then you have the wraps. Okay, so then we go back down in this peg, grab the next one. This should go out to the left, go into the right one, and this will go out to the right. And then we just start it all over again, reach in here, band goes straight, straight. Then we grab the right side of this band, put it on the left peg, and then we want to go down in, grab the same band, but it's the other end of it, and crisscross it to the right side. And then we go back in, pull out these bands that go out to the left and to the right. Okay, so we go in and go straight, straight, and then we take this one band to the left peg, go under it and grab the same band but the opposite end and loom it to the right peg. And then we want to loom out the sides. Okay, so straight, straight, top band to the left, same band underneath to the right, and out to the side. Straight, straight, band to the left, same band underneath, back over to the right. Side, side. Okay, I think you guys can get it. If not, please rewind. Okay, so let's finish this one up on our own and then we'll be back at the beginning to start the sides. Okay, we have our center all loomed out and your center two pegs should have no bands underneath it. So make sure there, are there aren't any bands left underneath those pegs because we're looming it from the inside out. So we wanna make sure that that's taken care of. All right, so our next step is we're going to take this blue band, if I can get it, I'm sorry, we're going to take the border, the border band is on top, and we take the border over to the right, okay, now we want to take this band forward and then we're going to do our two diagonals. So, well, after you took this band forward, you see these two bands here. We're going to take the bottom one and bring that up and over like that. You want to have a long stretch over like that. Now we can take our next band on top, which comes down to the bottom right, and then we want to take the bottom band, which is our border band, and go straight forward with it. Alright, so we're knocking out these two rows at the same time. After we bring the border band forward, we go back into this pin, grab the other diagonal band, and limb it back down like that. That completes one step or the step. So I begin with my band going forward. Okay, so bring this band forward and then out of these two bands right here, I come behind, but I wanna grab the bottom one and I bring it up and over. And then I come back in here and grab the top band and this gets loomed down here. After I loom this one, grab your border. Break. Oh, L-E nothing. Oh, L-E bands breaking like this. <laughs> Just joking. Oof. Sorry about that. I shall replace. All right, so now this band comes over to that peg 
and we are done. So then we start over and we go forward and then we take out of these two bands the bottom one to the front, go back into this peg and grab the top band and over to that peg then grab the bottom band, limb it forward the next band over, complete. Now the front, and then we take this one, loom it over, go back into this peg, bring this one down, and then loom forward our border. We go back in here, top band back down to the right, complete. Go back in here and loom forward. Grab that side to bring it over and loom out these bands. Then straight forward with the border. Back in here to the right. Complete. Okay, what do you think? Think we got it? You want me to show you a couple on this side? So remember, on this peg, the band that's going forward is on the bottom. It's not your border band. So you make sure you take that border band over to the right, okay? So then you want to loom this band forward. And I am missing a band. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. There is supposed to be a band going from here to here. Um, I'm so sorry. I need to take these two white off. I'm just going to place it like that for now. And then I can place it back on. And then this one needs to go all the way on the bottom. I have to turn it. I'm so sorry. Goodness gracious. So we want this one to be right like that. Okay? Because the next one in line is the one that goes forward. So, so, so sorry about that. Now we take the bottom band, which is the border, and limb it straight. Oops, goodness, I am not on top of my game today. Before we take that band over, we have to take this white band. Remember how we were taking the bands and pull them over? We need to take that one over first. Then you can come back and take this band down here. Make sure that band comes back down to take it forward. Okay, sorry about that. Now we go over to the left. So that's one complete. And then we start with the forward. Every time we go forward, we grab this band here and bring it up and over. And then we come back in, grab this diagonal that goes down the left and then loom forward this border then come back in and loom the diagonal up to the left okay so again forward take this band up and over and then loom the diagonal to the bottom left border straight Diagonal, top, left, complete. Okay, do one more. So we go straight, and then we grab this band here on the bottom, bring it up and over. Back into this peg, grab the band that goes to diagonal down. Back in, nope, 
and then we limb our border straight and then the diagonal to the top left. Okay. All right, I have confidence you guys got this. And then whenever you're finished, we are complete. So um, when you get up to the top, the last band that you're gonna loom is going to be this, um, this band here that's going straight. And then after you loom that band, you can loom this part into the two center pegs. Okay, so let's finish this up and see what we can do. Alrighty, so there we have the Familia Bracelet family. All intertwined together. So mine pretty much came off the loom like this. I'm very happy I didn't have my sweets to unwind, but I did use a lot of LE bands um, down the center. I think I only used one band that wasn't. So this is the back side and you can tell because it doesn't have that wrap but it has a lot more loops on that side and I really don't think it even looks bad even where on that side but we do have that and then you can see that dark band that I loomed is the one that's coming down and then we have our lighter color and then this you have the opportunity, it can raise. So if you pull this out like that, it will raise the center. But if you pull it up and down, it puts that center kind of back in. Okay, so thanks so much for joining me. How exciting. This is a really cool bracelet. Super, super happy with it. I hope you guys are too. Make sure that you do hashtag your renditions, the Familia bracelet on Instagram, Facebook. I would super love to see the color combos since I am so challenged in that area. And uh, I taught you guys how to bling, so my job's done. My, my want and, and love is to see what you guys come up with, so that's why I didn't add any bling. I want to see what you guys can do with it. So thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned. I have a lot more coming. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.